Hey everyone, I'm Honeydust, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your own version of Road to Eternity if you wanted to play along with us as well. So, the first thing you're going to need is Tmod Loader 64 bit. You can find this link in the description, I'll include it there. This was made by Draydon and Statchelfish, thanks to them, or else this would not even be possible to run. So, from this page, you're going to want to scroll down to the assets. I run Windows, so I install the Windows version. If you have Linux, there's other instructions here to do it. I am not sure exactly how it works, but that's what you're going to do first. Uh, after you install that, you're going to have this file folder. And I'll just keep that on the side for now, because first we got to go into Steam. And in your library, you're going to find Tmod Loader here. You see that I already have it set up as 1.3. This is important. So to do that, you go to Properties under betas, and then from here, you select 1.3. If yours is none, that just means that there's no betas and it's running the current up-to-date version of Tmod. But for this series, we need to run it in 1.3 because one of the mods is not updated to 1.4 Tmod. From here, now we can close this. Once it's updated to 1.3, you can right-click it, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files. It'll open up this window here. And from here, I already have all of the files installed here, but what you do is just take everything here and drag it into this folder. That's all you really need to do, easy as that, and then you can launch Tmod 64-bit right from here. It's gonna pop up this little window and then the game will start launching. If you want, you can also add that to your desktop as a shortcut, it makes it a lot easier instead of having to go through the file folders all the time and we just have to wait for everything to load. All right, so if this is the first time you're setting this up, first thing you wanna, you're wanna, you gonna wanna do is go to Mod Browser and look for all the mods that we use. I'll put everything in the description for what we use, but this is where you're gonna be uh, downloading all the mods. Once you have them all installed, you go to Mods, and this is an important step or else the mods will conflict and won't work with each other. First of all, disable everything except for Fargo's Mutant mod. Then you're going to go here, open the configs, and under banner recipes, make sure this is turned off because otherwise it'll conflict with something with Calamity and the game is going to crash or have an error and it won't load. Once that's turned off, you can reload, then enable all the other mods, reload one more time, and you should be good to go. Now there's one more thing I want to go over really quick. So let's say you are playing in 1.3 and you want to go back to 1.4. It's very easy to do. You just go back to your Tmod. Again, go to Properties, Betas, and then select None. It'll update again. Just takes a couple of minutes or seconds, you know, depending on how fast your PC is. And then when you launch Tmod the next time, without 1.3, you're gonna get this little window here. And this is basically just telling you that you have a lot of stuff from 64-bit that is conflicting with regular Tmod. So it just says here, press enter to proceed and automatically remove these files. You do that and it'll automatically take everything out and you launch Tmod one more time in its normal version. So as you can see here, we are on 1.4 again. And this is just how you can easily switch back and forth. So just to make it easy for everyone, if you wanted to reset this up, you just go back to the properties, betas, 1.3. Then you go back to the local files here. As you can see, some of the files were removed. You just go back into that same install folder that it gave you the first time. Drag everything back into here. It's gonna ask you to replace like three files, you can replace them. You can choose not to replace them. It's fine. I've done it either way and it still works. And then you just launch it again from Tmod Loader 64 bit and you're good to go. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope this helps. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to check out Road to Eternity. We're getting pretty close to the end now and I can't wait to see where the series goes. Thank you again for watching.